Pinson, who passed away peacefully in his sleep, surrounded by family, left behind a 60-year legacy that few can match. CTV's Annie Bergeron Oliver has Gordon's story. How are you today? Thank you. I'm Brad Pitt. <laughs> Gordon Pinson had humor, humility, and a passion for acting that started at just 17 years old. I'm talking about inheriting my family business as Tsar of Russia. Come on, Red. Over his career that spanned more than six decades, the proud Newfoundlander racked up more than 150 acting credits, including The Red Green Show. I never wanted to be away from her. The Oscar-nominated movie, Away From Her. Have a look. What do you see? Tell me the headline. And Shipping News. You know, Quentin Durgan's Premier Tomlinson is the Premier. Among his most memorable, though, the 1965 classic, Quentin Durgan's MP. And the spring water in the woods and the smells of things and the women. And The Rowdy Men in 1972, a script Pinsent wrote himself and chose to produce in Newfoundland. To a younger generation, he's the voice of King Babar. Pollution. It's a terrible thing, children. And at age 80, he went viral for reading Justin Bieber's memoir. Yes, I wore a white shirt. Yes, I got spaghetti. <laughs> when I was growing up on the East Coast, uh, the idea that this movie star was making movies in Newfoundland just a couple of provinces away was very exciting for us. And it really gave us a, a, a sense of, of pride. Born in 1930 to a large family, Pinsent, nicknamed Porky, loved picture shows from a young age. And years later, his own family would share his passion. His soulmate, Charmaine King, was also an actor, and their daughter, Leah, has dozens of acting credits to her name. In his hometown, Grand Falls, his legacy looms large. He has so many accolades, so many great things he's done in his lifetime. I know that his hometown had a very special place in his heart. And we're very sorry to hear the news. A poetic soul, Pinsent won every major acting award in the country and was named to the Order of Canada. Every day for him, a chance to pursue his passion. You don't like to think, oh, well, I've left the best of, best of me behind. No, no, that's, it's, it goes on and on and on, you know, uh, until one day you slip out of frame and you're, you're no longer there. Annie Bergeron-Oliver, CTV News, Ottawa.